And tonight, DTE tells us the wind brought down more than 500 wires across the area. They have had a lot of crews out there all day long. That's 108,000 customers in the dark for much of the day. Right now, 40,000 are still without power. DTE hopes to have the power back on to most people by the end of the day tomorrow, but they warn more outages are still possible. Jamont Terry live in Dearborn tonight where a lot of folks are dealing with power outages. You're right, Steve. In DTE, they have been truly busy on this Sunday trying to get stay ahead of the storm. Tonight, you can see that snow that Andrew was just talking about. It's kind of just blowing easily throughout the air. But if you pan our camera, you can see that some of the street lights. They are still swaying tonight from all of this wind. The last Sunday in February goes down as the windiest for the month. The near 60 mile per hour wind gusts, a clear reminder, Mother Nature remains in control. Yes, she is. <laughs> Lottie Starr can only laugh because her neighborhood in Westland found itself in the dark. Uh, about four hours. That's how long she's been waiting for DTE crews to restore power. In the height of this storm, they estimated the winds caused more than 500 wires and poles to snap across Metro Detroit. Now, you are aware that they did open a warming center right up the street. Um, at the uh, community center. I can't get there without ambulance because I have a special needs daughter. And with that many lines down, it meant dangerous conditions. On Detroit's east side, when these wires fell, it sparked smoke and fire briefly a clear indication of the danger. But in Dearborn, on Wyoming, near Southern Street, these drivers did not understand the severity. We spotted dozens of vehicles making risky moves. Look closely, cars drove underneath power lines. They didn't know if the down lines were active or not, and the others took a scarier chance driving around the wires instead of turning around. Police eventually came out to make sure drivers did not put themselves in danger. Back in Westland, Miss Starr waits patiently for the power and her heat to come back. You just have to keep on trucking, that's all. That's all we can all do is keep on trucking. Miss Starr has the right attitude. Police are warning people if, in fact, you come across a road that is closed and there is a down wire, you should never, never try to go underneath it you should immediately turn around. Those drivers were doing the wrong thing that we saw over there on, the, on Wyoming. Again, the wind's still picking up, and it's not over until it's over. Reporting live in Dearborn tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Yeah, it's just not worth the risk. Thanks, Jermont.